Hello and welcome travelers! To celebrate the week of Lorcana's full release, we are going to debut a new staple on the channel, Meta Mondays. Here we will introduce you to carefully curated lists meant to help compete with your local metas from day one, and or give you some helpful tips if you're looking to build on a budget. And for our first list, we have a deck that does both. Please welcome, Stitch Turbo. First, a brief history on the deck. Stitch Turbo was one of the first theorized decks in Lorcana, back when we only knew about half the cards in this list. It builds upon an advertised playstyle of the Amber Amethyst starter deck of going wide, and now gives you the ability to gain resources off of doing just that so you don't get critically wounded by your opponents removing your board often. Here's the card by card. Starting with lowest to highest, we have 4 copies of Befuddle, 4 copies of both Lilo and Maleficent, the 1 drop, 1 1, 2 lore, uninkable cards. These are both interesting little lore master batteries that we'll talk about later. 4 copies of Olaf. 4 copies of Stitch New Dog, which is the shift target for Stitch Rockstar, 4 copies of Magic Broom, 4 copies of Lantern, which is the ramp target for the deck and also the card that lets your combo work, 4 copies of LeFou, 4 copies of Simba, 4 copies of Elsa, 4 copies of Friends on the Other Side, 4 copies of Maleficent, 4 copies of Mickey, 4 copies of Zeus, and 4 copies of Stitch Rockstar, the main combo of the deck. As I said earlier, this deck wants to go wide and get advantage from doing it. We're able to do this with the ability of Stitch Rockstar, which allows you to exert a character of 2 costs or lower when it's played so you can draw a card. This deck aims to shift Rockstar onto New Dog on turn 3, so that turn 4 and beyond you can flood the board with low cost characters and draw for doing it as well. This essentially refills their spot in your hand and continuously allows you to dig for more 2 cost cards or lower to play. Pretty soon you'll overwhelm your opponent and be able to threaten 20 lore with a snap of your fingers. Be careful with playing your lower cost characters too early though, or else you won't have enough of them in hand to play once you get Stitch on the field. The combination of cards that allow us to shift on turn 3 is Stitch New Dog, Lantern, and Stitch Rockstar. New Dog to be the shift target in turn 1 play, Lantern as your turn 2 play that is able to reduce the shift cost on Rockstar from 4 to 3, and Rockstar to be your turn 3 play which sets you up for huge turn 4s and beyond. Just make sure to look for some Simbas and cards with high lore stats, or lore masters as I like to call them, so your turns 4, 5, and beyond can be extra threatening. Mulligan In order of importance, I believe the cards you should be looking for in your mulligan are as follows. Stitch New Dog, Stitch Rockstar, Simba Protective Cub, and Lantern. A small caveat to the mulligan would be if you are going first and you see one of the lore master vanilla cards plus Simba for an early game push. Finally, I'd like to highlight the best part about this deck. The affordability. Overall, this deck plays 0 legendaries, 8 super rares, and everything else is rare or lower. And to add on top of that, you can find the majority of this deck in the Amber Amethyst starter deck, which also includes one of your 8 super rares. So if you may be interested in playing this deck, I highly recommend picking up one of those starters, as it will give you a huge boost in building this deck. Thanks for stopping by, happy building, and I will see you next time at the Traverse Tavern.